The Licking County development of Intel is leading communities in the surrounding area to reconsider what life will be like after the major campus opens sometime later this decade. NBC4's Kyle Beachy went to Harlem Township where there is talk of a merger with the city of Westerville. Another packed room came with dozens of questions about a potential merger and the details like who stands to gain if Harlem Township becomes Westerville. A lot of folks I talked to said it's not Harlem Township. If we wanted it to be Westerville, we would have bought a house in Westerville 32 years ago. 4,800 people live in Harlem Township. Two years ago, the township did a survey of residents focusing on this question. How many of you <laughs> want growth? 97% said no. That's 97%. So we need for the elected officials to listen to us or we're going to have to defund them. Now with Intel nearby, they look at this map of Chandler, Arizona as an example of what this land could become. And they see it just down Harlem Road crossing into Columbus corporate limit. Most don't want change. They believe once Westerville takes over, it'll be nothing but expansion until all the rural land is covered by city. And at Westerville City Council meeting Tuesday, some folks there aren't sure about the change either. I'm having a problem seeing how this plan is a benefit to those here in Westerville. I am, con I am not convinced that it does benefit Westerville. Many questions at tonight's meeting were about utilities, sewer, electric, gas, water. Would current residents have to change? Likely. Another topic, annexation. Here's what annexation has looked like for the city of Columbus in the last 100 plus years. The expansion nearly touches Harlem Township. Some fear if they don't merge now, land will be sold to developers and annexed into Columbus or New Albany or somewhere else. And we got Les Wexner out there letting everybody else come in. AEP's throwing these big tower pools in our front yards. Let's put one in Les's backyard, see how he likes it. As of now, trustees with the township say there are no current annexation filings. It could be that the merger with Westerville is the lesser of all evils. And maybe nothing is ever going to stay the same. I get that. We can still hope for it. For this merger to go through, it would have to pass in Westerville and Harlem Township. The soonest that could happen would be in November. Local for you in Harlem Township, I'm Kyle Beachy, NBC4.